Well, the, the, the name of the, of, the, of the property is Castello Banfi. The thing is we, we didn't create all together at the same time. So basically we started with Castello Banfi, which is the castle, and then we, did, we built the, the wine shop, which was called Castello Banfi de Noteca. And after the Noteca, a few years after, we started with the project of the restaurant La Taverna. So we just followed the same name, and it was called Castello Ban Fila Taverna. And many years after, around 20 years after, we, um, we started the project of the hotel, which was in the, in the old border, which was a little village just beside the, the castle where the owners were living. And again, we just followed the same. It's, no, it's, the name was Castello Banfi Il Borgo. So, all together, except the Sade Glapoli, which, came, which is the fine dining restaurant, and came after, has been following the same structure. So Castello Banfi plus the location. Um, then I understand sometimes it, uh, people don't understand at the first time, and it's uh, easy, for, easy for them to call it just Castello Banfi. Okay? So, but the reality is that we have four different types of offering. One is the wine shop, one is the restaurant, La Taverna, one is the restaurant inside the Grappoli, and the other one is the hotel. Here at Cordocia we produce handcrafted wine. Handcrafted means that every single bunch of grapes is touched by the hand of man. Every single bottle that leaves our cellar is checked by a person. Come and experience yourself directly the way we do things here at Cordocia. In this uh, land which is the uh, patrimony of humanity, uh, the most beautiful countryside in the world, the greatest wine, the greatest food, organic experience will be waiting for you. We're out here in Tuscany, actually in the Siena, uh, province, I guess you would say, and I am at Castellon de Bosco. I'm just getting ready to head into the uh, winery, and um, it's just a, it's perched on this mountain way at the top of a hillside. Hi guys, this is Guido from Castellon de Bosco Winery, Montalcino. Me and Kelly we are standing in a beautiful crew, Campo del Drago, consider we are, uh, Castillo del Bosque is located in the northwest side of the hill of Montalcino and I guess it's one of the most uh, eye hands part to make very elegant expression of Brunello. As you know, the hill of Montalcino give us the very, the very eye hand Brunello wine. The northwest side we can say synthesize the complexity but at the same time the freshness, the acidity, the nice drinkability of a good uh, Tuscan wine based on pure Sangiovese grape. This land is actually our own Brunello field, uh, 42 contiguous sectors, and it's so steep that it gives us the chance to discover three main different stratification of soils actually. So we're gonna make three actually different kind of Brunello wines. Into the bottom area we have actually white clay, White clay, very thick soil, vines in between 15 and 20 years old is our basic classic wine. Where we are now is the Cru Campo del Drago, just one hectare point five, old vines and soil very rocky. The altitude of this spot is 470 meters above the sea level, which means 
very long ripening process, which grant has a very fine and elegant wine with a very high, high personality. Even in a blind tasting, you can always detect our, uh, our Campo del Dragon. The middle portion is a selection area for the Reserva Brunello, but of course, as you know, Brunello Reserva cannot make each year, cannot be made each year, just when the season is very nice, when the vintage is very significant, we're gonna make this kind of label, which is called Millecento.